the Olympics, the most competitive athletic event in the world. But for athlete Corey Watkins, there's an extra challenge. When Corey first got in his accident, the doctors gave him only about eight seconds to live. But he's proved them all wrong. That boy's got more balls in his head than most people I know. You see, Corey is just a head. That's our boy. He's a good boy. I was 10, playing with my dad's wood chipper collection, when out of nowhere, my body was eaten by a bear. That's not gonna stop me from bringing home the gold. To help him achieve his Olympic dream, Corey is aided by his live-in trainer, Dmitry Naskolnikov. I do not see Corey's lack of body a disadvantage. I once trained a disembodied foot to run marathon. He is faster, more agile. I can throw him into competitions. I trained Corey in many events. Dimitri's training's really intense. Intense and angry. Corey, high jump. Long jump. Yes! Swim! 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 Hurdle! The biggest problem we have is who to put gold medals. He has no neck. It's not gonna be easy, since I didn't qualify for any events. He can do anything that he puts his mind to. Except drive. Oh yeah, God don't. Get up! And so we Stop leave Corey gun. Watkins, who proves to us, just because you have no body, doesn't mean you are nobody. I'm Bob Costas, good night from London. <laughs>